In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the techniques for evaluating regular expressions using Java. So let's go ahead and start a new Java program. We're going to call it example.java. First thing we have to do is import two classes that we're going to need. The first one is regex.pattern, and the second one is regex.matcher. And I'll show you how we're going to use those classes in just a moment. First thing we'll do is create a string to evaluate. Next we'll create our regular expression pattern. In this case it's just going to be the literal var. But to do that we're going to call the pattern class. And we call a class method from the pattern class compile with our regular expression. You can also use regular string methods to evaluate regular expressions, but those techniques are a lot more inefficient, so we're going to stick with regular expression objects like pattern. And then the next one we're going to look at, which is matcher. The matcher class actually does our regular expression evaluation. Here's how it works. You'll see we create a matcher object and then call a matcher method against our regular expression pattern with the string we want to evaluate as the argument. And then if there are matches found, they'll be stored in this object, matcher. And we can call a find method. If the find method returns true, then there are matches to be found. To return the matches, the actual literal match, we call the group method from our matcher object. Otherwise, we're just going to write out no matches found. So that's all we need to do for our program. So let's save it. We go back to our command prompt and compile it and run it. And you'll see it returned our match var. Let's change the regular expression to vr. Save it. Compile again. And then run it. And you'll see it returned no matches found. So to review, to perform regular expression matching at least, now we're going to look at other types of regular expressions later in the course, but to do matching, we need the regex pattern and regex matcher. Create a pattern object, then create a matcher object, and then use that matcher object to perform whatever tasks you want to perform based on whether or not a match was found in the string that you're evaluating. So that wraps up this lesson on regular expression evaluation in Java. And now we're ready to move on to the two exercises for this chapter where we're going to look at a couple of different regular expressions and see how to use them using JavaScript and C-sharp.